Hey everyone. So I have a lot of tests in my Postman test suite and I hate to confess that there is a ton of code that has been copy pasted across these tests. But recently I discovered a way to reuse functions in Postman and that's what I intend to share with you today. So in one of my previous videos, I had created this request where a user is being created in the pre-request script and then it is being updated in the main request. So let's see how we can make use of a reusable function here. The desired outcome is that we move the code for creating a user into a function and then call that function here instead of all this code. So first of all, I choose a location for my functions. Now, if you feel that the function is pertinent to just the request in a certain folder, you could have it in the parent folder itself. However, if you plan to create a sort of util functions file for the entire collection, you could have it in the collections root folder. And that's what I am going to go for. These functions will be declared in the pre-request script tab. And essentially we're going to have a container of functions here. So we specify the name of the container first and then a set of braces that will enclose our functions. So let's create a function to create a user. Provide a name for your function. Let's say function create new user. It's a function that accepts PM object as the parameter. Now a function usually has two components. The first is the actual request and then there is this arrow function taking in the error and the response arguments. So our reusable function is going to mimic the same. So let's copy this. and paste here. For the request, we could have it declared separately and then use it here or directly declare it in line. So a request takes an URL, method, header, body, so you can refer to my previous videos for details about creating this request and these uh, components. So I'm going to use an inline request. So I just copy the request and replace the pre-request keyword with the actual request. Here we go. Don't worry about the indentation right now. Now on to this function. As per my experience, the reusable functions do not work correctly with arrow functions. So this one will have to be converted into a normal function, which is simple. Just use the function keyword. And remove the arrow. And that's about it. So this function, as you see, it sets the variable user ID based off based off the ID returned by this JSON. We can make use of this JSON straight away, but we will have to use a collection variable to store this value. Now, when we write functions, usually we expect it to return a value, but I had no luck getting that working here. So I chose to set up a collection variable with the value instead. And then my test can go grab that collection variable value. I'll give it a name prefixed by util so that we know that it is being set by a util function and we will change the variables to a collection variable. I also need to set up the username variable which we will use later. Only it refers to the name part of the JSON object. This looks good enough. Let's see how we can call this now. So I'm going to duplicate this test. And we are 
using functions here so let's rename it appropriately we can remove all of this code here and just replace it with the container name which is util functions dot and then the name of the function itself so the name of the function is fun create new user like so and then it expects a pm object let's see uh, how it works so this is our reusable function i have saved it and right now we have just one collection variable which is url so if i call this function Mm -hmm. we can see that the user id and name user username variables were created now why this has failed because our main request is still referring to our old variable which is ut, uh, user id we need to change it to the collection variable so let's go grab its name and fingers crossed Yes, it worked. So our user is getting created. The user ID got stored in the collection variable and our test picked that up. And the name of the user being created is Simpson. Now, if you had noticed this function has hard coded the name Simpson, we could parameterize that. So our function now accepts, let's say the name of the user so say username this is the argument that we added and then our request also should use this parameter which is username okay so let's also change our function call let's say we want it to be robert okay let me call this function with this new argument we wouldn't see a difference here but the name of the variable will now be robert so it's correct in being robert and not simpson so in this way you could parameterize your tests and as always if you're facing any issues make use of the um, console debug statements in your reusable function now postman doesn't really support these kind of reusable functions out of the box so it's difficult to get any official documentation around this topic it's a hack that lets us work around the solution and there could be more ways to do it so if you've discovered any better way of using functions, do let me know in the comments. I would be eager, very eager to know that. So until next time, bye.